yeah, this is a tutorial on how to animate figures in CS3, Adobe After Effects. Um, the easiest way I've found out so far is using Gary's mod. You go to, if you go to GM Construct and um, go to the white room, you can uh, record battles or whatnot and use blending modes to blend them into your videos or whatever. Well, okay, um, first off, you have to go to Gary's Mod, obviously. Okay, um, once you're in Gary's Mod, go to Single Player, um, GM Construct. And, yeah, wait for the loading to finish. Yeah, once you spawn, um, uh, just no clip there, you go through these, go downstairs through here into the white room. Once you're in the white room, you can basically, this is where you do all your animating. Um, for animating darker armored troops, um, your, um, everything here has to be white. For animating lighter colored troops, everything in the room has to be black. Use your color tool to change the colors between white and black. See? Right click on them to turn them back white. Now let's get busy. Um, first off, um, let's just make a easy right now. Explosive can exploding, yeah? Okay, um, make sure you're in camera most of the time because camera, your HUD isn't showing and yeah. Now the downside of being in this room is that you can't like, put cameras because there's the walls are not um, well you can't really use the walls see I'll show you an example um, camera ah, camera see I'm clicking no camera now to fix this um, you have to create oh turn as we cheats one cheats one type in guy type in no target Okay, now to put a, any NPC, it doesn't matter, Father Gregory, whatever, blah blah blah. Now you can create the camera. Okay, uh, you have to... Um, yeah, you have to weld the camera, but you have to weld it up to outside. And once that's done, you can remove Father Gregory. Gregory. Yeah, now you're ready to record. Um, for me, I'll be recording an explosive barrel. Uh, I'll record it off the camera. Make sure you're in camera slot. Yeah, see, you can't, you can't even see the camera now. You see that? Of course. Um... Yeah, um, for me, like I said, I'll be creating an explosive barrel, so I'll tag a dynamite on it. Use the color tool and set it transparent. Make sure this thing is all the way down. Set it there. See, it's invisible now. Um, my dynamite key is 9. Uh, and set the damage higher. I forgot to do that early. So, yeah, I'll put the dynamite on here. Um, color. Now you're ready. Um, as you can see, here's the dynamite. Switch to your camera tool. And I'll record this in a separate film so it's easy. Use the explosion. Yeah, there's the explosion. Once you're done, um, disconnect. Exit game. Quit. So, um, after you got your, like, videos, go to. Adobe After Effects. Ah, now you're in. Now since you're in Adobe After Effects, go to Composition. New Composition. For me, I'll just use 480 and 320 because uh, too big will chew up space in the computer. I mean, Comp One, whatever. Um. Import your files. So um, yeah, uh, import.
support the, the action part you wanted. So mine was an explosive barrel, remember? And then import your movie you want to uh, put it onto. And you know, just use, um, um, I'll just use, I'll just use, um, uh, 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 yeah, I'll just use this one as a source. Um, yeah, um, once you got it, drag your uh, action film into the center. Make sure both of them are equal to the screen. Or this one could be smaller. Um, uh, for a white layer in the background, you have to click blending mode and then multiply. Uh, not as a, uh, for a, a darker or a black background, you have to switch it to screen. But since I have a white, I just have like that. Um, like, uh, is it canvas? Ah. Now I have my, uh, things prepared. Uh, sometimes, uh, when you capture it, you're not going to have the right, you know, side, so when you're capturing, make sure you, you know what you're doing. I mean, I have to adjust it right now. Whatever. Let's just make it rolling again. Once you got that done, you can play it. My screen wasn't supposed to move, but it did. Fuck. Um. Um, uh, let's rotate it back again because it's not working. Uh, yeah. Well, as you can see, it just blew up. Uh, I didn't record so great, so yeah. And this is the easiest way for beginners that I've seen so far. And I still believe it's still the easiest. And yeah. Easy. Gary's mod is 10 bucks. Um, but you have to combine it with a Half-Life 2 or so something that uses a source as engine. I recommend Half-Life 2 and Gary's Mod. Buy the pack, and Gary's Mod is $5 less. Um, Gary's Mod can only be bought through Steam, and Half-Life 2 is cheaper through Steam, so yeah, I recommend you get Steam. So yeah, bye.